Hello and welcome to Screencast 121 Part B, which is a part two of working with definitions. Working with definitions and instantiating them in particular is so important that we, the more practice we get, the better. And so we're going to practice a little bit with this with an example that's not in your textbook, that's not even based on numbers, but on geometry. And that's the definition of a polygon. So a polygon is something you uh, probably know what it is. Uh, if you, it'd be a good idea before you read this definition I'm going to show you to just take a second, pause the video, and draw some examples of what you think a polygon is. Maybe some examples of things that aren't polygons, uh, just to kind of get straight in your mind what you think it is, because we're going to have to go on this definition that I'm going to show you here. So after you have done that, uh, let's read the definition here. This is taken from Wikipedia. Uh, it says that a polygon is a flat shape that consists of straight lines that are joined to form a closed chain or circuit. So you notice in this definition, there's sort of three major pieces to this that seem to be emphasized. The notion that a polygon has to be flat, so something that isn't sticking up or curving in 3D, uh, that it consists of straight lines and not semicircles or arcs or curvy things. And then this last one, closed chain. Now, flat shape and straight lines are pretty straightforward. We don't really necessarily need definitions for that. But closed chain, uh, you might wonder uh, quite legitimately, what is a closed chain? Uh, it's kind of hard to move forward with this definition until we understand what that is. And this happens all the time in mathematical definitions. Mathematical definitions build upon themselves, and they're typically defined in terms of things that have definitions of their own, like closed chain. So what is a closed chain? Let's make sure we know what that is. Well, on the Wikipedia page, actually, under closed chain is a hyperlink, and it will take you to this uh, page here that contains this text. Uh, the actual term closed chain is uh, it's a, a closed chain. Well, what's a chain, first of all? Well, here's the definition of a chain. So notice we have to uh, recurse ourselves a few steps backward in this definition. We had the definition of polygon. That depended on knowing what a closed chain was, and we can't really understand what a closed chain is until we know what a straight up chain is. Okay, So what is a chain? Well, it's a connected series of line segments. And if you weren't clear on what a line segment is, that's got a definition too. So it's a connected series of line segments, period. So let's instantiate that definition up here at the top of the slide. So what does a chain look like? Well, it's a connected series of line segments. So something like this would be considered a chain. Uh, or one line segment would be considered a chain, or a couple that kind of do like this would be considered a chain. But something like this would not be, like a two line segments that are sort of separated from each other, not connected. That's the, the word connected there is really important in that definition. So these are chains, this isn't. That's instantiating the definition. Now, since now that I think we're, if you're clear on what a chain is, let's talk about what a closed chain is. Well, it's one, a chain, in which the first vertex coincides with the last one. Okay, so uh, actually none of these guys we drew here would be considered closed chains because the first vertex does not connect with the last one. Okay, so here's what a closed chain might look like. Uh, here's the line segment, I'm drawing my chain, draw it down here, and then maybe that's supposed to connect up right there. Okay, so that's what a closed chain would look like. Okay, so now we understand the three major portions of the definition of polygon, flat, straight, and closed. So let's move on to a little concept check here, and this is a, something I'm going to give you, although in practice you would be doing this yourself, and there are some, some figures here, six figures I'm going to draw, and I want you to determine whether these are polygons or not. Okay, so the first one here is a, just a straight triangle. And by the way, you've probably noticed my handwriting is not the greatest on these things. Uh, uh, forgive me and uh, just kind of assume that unless I say so, uh, all the lines you see here are perfectly straight. So a triangle, this sort of a shape here that's got a dent in it, this shape here, which is going to be like the previous one, except that point is going to actually connect with the lower line segment there. Uh, this shape which is going to be kind of in an X form. And there's no intersection vertex right here. The lines is simply overlap, and there's no vertex. And then lastly, this, sort of a U-shaped. There's vertices at all these corners here, in case you can see them. And then finally, this one, which is, uh, these are truly uh, not straight. I'll even draw a little loop like this, because it's kind of fun. There we go, and that's F. Okay, so question is, which, according to the definition, which of these six figures are polygons? Now, go with the definition. Uh, don't go with what you think a polygon is, but what does the definition specify a polygon is? Pause the definition, pa pause the video, and come back when you're ready. Okay, so you might be surprised uh, that all of the first four 
are polygons, but neither of the last two are polygons. Some of these are surprising and some aren't, but uh, there are some surprises in here for sure. Let's look at the first four. Well, I think it's pretty clear that the triangle one is a polygon, but the question is why? How do we know it's a polygon? Um, <clears throat> it's not because of our intuition. It's because it hits all the important specifications of the definition. It's a flat shape, yes. It consists of straight lines, yes. And those lines are joined to form a closed circuit. So if I kind of go around counterclockwise, one, two, three, one. The last vertex is connected to the first one. That makes it a closed chain according to our other definition. So that's a polygon. So is this one. Even though it's got kind of a dent, you might have been wondering, does the dent disqualify from being a polygon? Well, not this time. Uh, it's not what we would call a convex or regular polygon. Uh, is it a flat shape? Yes. Does it comp consist of straight lines? Yeah. Is it a closed chain or circuit? Yeah. It can go kind of go around in order like this and uh, I end up, the last vertex is connected to the first one. Even this one is considered a polygon. Is it flat? Yes. Is it straight? Yes. Does it form a closed chain? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, three, one. <laughs> uh, you might consider, well, wait a minute, that was the last vertex here, but I can still get around and call this, call this maybe like I hit this vertex twice. There's nothing in the definition of closed chain that rules out duplicate vertices that I saw. Okay, so this would be considered a polygon under that definition. This one would also be considered a polygon even with the intersection of the line segments because uh, this is actually even easier, I think, to understand. If I kind of go around in a little tour like this, one, two, three, four, one, that's definitely a closed chain, and this is flat and made up of straight lines. So those are all considered polygons. Now, these last two are a little problematic. I will say that one of the things you need to realize about mathematics is that many times the same term will have different definitions. And so you might look at this and say, I don't want to consider those polygons. This definition stinks. Uh, I'd like a different definition, or at least a modified definition that maybe uh, says a flat shape consisting of straight lines that don't intersect. You know, and maybe if I modify that definition, I would have something that I really like. But um, without modifications, these two guys have to be considered polygons. There are other definitions of polygons out there, particularly in some of the applications that I personally work with that specifically rule out intersections. So the, this guy and this guy would not be considered polygons. Uh, however, this definition, which is the only one that matters right now, does specify those are polygons like it or not. Okay, so what that means about our definition is another question, but under the definition those would be polygons. So those are good instances of the definition, even though I don't necessarily like them, because they push the boundaries of what the definition means, it's particularly what does a closed chain mean. Now, these last two are pretty clearly not polygons. This one's not a closed chain. You kind of, you'd have to connect those uh, first and last vertices together. Um, and so that's not that's not a closed chain, hence not a polygon, and this one's pretty clearly not because the lines aren't straight. So let's wrap up what we've learned here. So instantiating a definition is pretty interesting. You, know, you have to construct examples and non-examples that really push the boundaries of the definition and the terminology. Uh, many times you're reading a definition, you will come into a term that you don't understand. And so in that case, what do you do? You go look up its definition. And a well-constructed definition will always let you do this. And uh, what you want to look out for uh, are extreme examples and non-examples that really do push the boundaries and help you understand the object that you are working with. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.